Hey everyone, welcome to this week's first uh, virtual lecture. Um, we're going to continue talking about uh, the Earth's interior. Uh, today we're specifically going to talk about how heat is transferred uh, within Earth's interior and just some three basic uh, ways heat is transferred uh, in general. Um, after this video, you guys will have uh, a quiz uh, to take on this. Uh, so make sure that you pay attention to this video uh, and let's get started. So before we talk about how heat is transferred uh, within our Earth, uh, let's talk about heat in general. So heat uh, is the energy transfer between systems of different temperatures. So uh, usually things with higher energy uh, are associated with uh, more heat. So when things are hot, their um, molecules, uh, their atoms are vibrating more uh, aggressively uh, together, which produces heat, uh, and then heat can be transferred from, uh, you know, object to object or system to system. Uh, and there are three types of heat transfer that you guys need to know. The first kind is radiation. So this is the transfer of heat energy uh, carried in light. So an example of this is heat from the sun. Another example of this is uh, infrared radiation, which is if we look down, uh, let me get my pen here. If we look down at the image here, the, so let me draw, hold on one second. So if we look down here at the coils uh, of the stove, the coils are emitting infrared radiation, which is a type of light, uh, which is um, gonna be associated with heat. Uh, the second form of heat transfer is conduction. So that's the transfer of heat, uh, heat energy through touching objects. So the uh, coils of the stove are touching the bottom of the pan and the coils are transferring their heat to the pan uh, via conduction. Same thing if you were to put your hand on a hot stove, uh, that the heat from the stove is being transferred to your hand uh, via conduction. And the last one, which we're going to talk about when we talk about how heat is transferred uh, within the Earth, is uh, the transfer is convection, which is the transfer of heat and energy through fluids. So fluids meaning gases uh, and liquids. Remember, a fluid is just something that, you know, uh, has an indefinite volume. It takes the shape of whatever object it's in. So uh, gases take the shape of a balloon. Uh, just like water takes the shape of a water bottle. So things like that are considered liquid, uh, fluids rather. Uh, so when an example of convection is that when warm air rises, uh, it goes up into the atmosphere. That's one of the reasons we have uh, weather in our atmosphere. When that air cools, it then sinks back down uh, to the uh, ground. Same thing is happening uh, in the pan over here. So because the coils are transferring heat to the bottom of the pan, the water at the bottom of the pan is getting hot. This water is then rising to the top of the pan. Uh, when it gets to the top of the pan, it loses heat through the surface of the water. And it cools down and then that water then uh, dips back down to the bottom of the pan where it's going to be heat it up again and that process is just going to continue over and over again. All right so next we're going to talk about heat and its relationship uh, with density. So uh, we've talked about density already this year we're going to talk about it uh, many more times this year so let's get let's get used to that um, but uh, you need to know that convection currents are driven by heat transfer between fluids, uh, uh, changes in fluids density and uh, also gravity. So as we've talked about in class, density is how much mass there is in a given volume of a substance uh, or how compact uh, it is. So if we look, I'm just going to get rid of my face uh, for this slide. If we look at the uh, top image up here and oops. If we look at the top image up here. Uh, we have two boxes, both with the uh, same, uh, you know, volume, uh, but they have different masses because in this box, we can clearly see that the, uh, you know, the, the particles within that box are, there's not as many 
uh, and they're more spaced out. In this box, they're much more tightly packed. Uh, so we know that this box is more dense because there's more particles uh, in the space uh, provided. Uh, so uh, as a, a, let's use a, a pot of soup uh, as an example here. As a pot of soup heats up, a uh, warmer soup on the bottom expands. Uh, when something, when a liquid expands, it becomes less dense and things that are less dense are going to rise. Uh, so that's going to rise to the top of the pot. Uh, the soup at the top of the pot loses heat through the surface of the uh, liquid. When that happens, uh, heat is lost, so it cools off, it, it condenses, it becomes more dense, uh, and it sinks back to the bottom. And this cycle repeats itself over and over and over. All right, so finally, let's talk about uh, convection currents in the earth. Uh, so this is going to be very similar to the, uh, the pot of boiling soup that we just talked about in the uh, last slide. So heat from the earth's core uh, heats up rock low in the mantle, uh, causing convection currents. Uh, so hot rock in the mantle heats up and then slowly rises uh, into the upper mantle. As it cools, uh, the rock spreads out and sinks back down. So Let's illustrate this. So in this image, we have the magma coming up to the surface. As it gets to the surface, just like the soup, uh, it's going to lose. Uh, as it kind of goes across the crust of the earth, it's going to lose heat. Uh, and when that happens, it's going to cool off, become more dense, and then sink back down uh, into the lower mantle. Uh, so this is the process that drives uh, plate tectonics. Uh, and then if we go down into the outer core, so at the very bottom of this image, uh, if I switch my color, at the very bottom of this image, we can see what looks like the, uh, what we can presume to be the outer core. Um, the same process happens in the outer core, except instead of uh, liquid magma rock, uh, it's, it's molten metal. Uh, and the convection currents that happen in this molten metal uh, are what give Earth its uh, magnetic field, which is what uh, protects us from harmful uh, radiation uh, from the sun. All right, so that is heat transfer. Uh, just, you know, um, kind of some basic uh, ways heat is transferred uh, in general uh, and then how it's transferred uh, within the Earth. So uh, next we have a quiz uh, that you guys need to uh, complete after watching this video. After that, uh, I have another video for you guys uh, to watch, uh, which is going to be about elements, compounds, and minerals. All right, I'll see you guys soon.